tarot card games now to me. Here with an update of the hero deck, I've taken some suggestions on hold and I've locked and traded for a few things and a few extra bits. So I'm basically going to go through my new updated heroes. There you go. Free Shadow Mist. Free Neo Celius. <coughs> Sorry, guys, I'm choking to death. Uh, two Bubble Man. Uh, one of the Voltic, Heat, and Ice Edge. Um, obviously, these would be if I had seen other cards, but you know, you do what you can, so it's all good. Uh, two Summoner Monk to search your deck, bin everything. One Goblin Burg, it's the only one I can find. It is a Starfall, so it's nice. Uh, one Rainbow Crevo because it's a light, it goes for mass change too, it special summons and it negates attack, so it is very useful. And um, two gauze. I feel like two gauze is nice for this build. You can mass change two into Dark Law, comes up with a beta, and most things 2700, and everything in this deck is chainable, so pretty much you've always got gauze in hand. Okay. Next to spells, we have your one offs of Sword Charge, Snatch Deal, One Day of Peace. Um, one of the pieces for setups, sometimes you can't do anything and it's just nice to have an extra turn of setup. Book of Moon because I list everyone's a lot of quick plays, so it's nice. Snatch deal, get around problems, and obviously Sword Charge because Sword Charge is great. Okay, here's for the techiness. I know you guys have complained about this. Uh, two Hero Lives, it's just my personal preference. I don't prefer drawing it early game, I prefer drawing it late game, so I prefer having it like that. Uh, two Reinforcement. One equal. I just like it for the difference. Um, I probably will end up adding in a third one, but still, I just like it. Um, two mass change and three mass change two because there's a lot more targets which are valid for mass change two rather than mass change one. So I feel mass change two is much more better for this build to have. Again, it's all personal preference just because obviously with the gauze and the rainbow crebo, it's and the actual Summoner Monk, it's just more useful to have Mass Change 2 as it's more, got more synergy. So, you know, personal preference and all, but overall I just believe it's a better card. Um, two Mass Charge, I believe this is nice, gets back and is always good. Uh, one Miracle Fusion, I just feel it's nice to have. There's a, I, technically, there's only two targets in the actual extra deck. I may add another one in. Um, you guys suggest if you want me to add another one in. I don't know. Uh, one Lance. One Fifth Hope, because we have got our variant part of Avarice. And one Dark Hole. So, just basically extra little text. And for your lovely traps, we now have a nice Compulse. One breakthrough skill and one hero blast. I found that eventually certain things are running into problems, and instead of bottomless, bottomless is good. Don't get me wrong, but people do stuff, and it's just nice to have two turns of um, breakthrough skill. It just yeah, I find it better to stop crystal and all the manner of stuff that stops me. Special something. So that's that. We also have a gauze token because we have gauze, so I just feel it's just nice. And here is the extra deck. It's, there's no particular. I'll start off with. Pretty much you most of. We're gonna have one con. We're gonna have a couple of contrasts. I mean, you can change it out. It's you know whatever it is. We run one great tornado because we haven't got anything else that fits. And it is just generally if you can combo it off, it is all right. You can use it with to get anything else. So one divine wind. Divine wind is good. I think it's a really good card. But the only problem is you're only going to get it off your snatch deal. So I don't feel like having one extra of these is good. Like I say, this is a budget build. So I'm just saying you things that you can use for budget. One Gaia. Gaia's are quite cheap. This one, like I say, is from a tin. I told you last time. So it's pretty good. And obviously you can use it with any hero and the Goblinberg. So there you go. That's that. Next we have usual... We have free Koga. Koga is really good. Obviously, gaining 500 for every monster your opponent controls is amazing. I believe there's some really good combos to be had in gaming this with uh, a Jammer Trio. <laughs> I might tech it out and just see. I mean, it might stop people like Bidding Abyss so they can only just go so much, but it is really nice to use. So, you know, making your opponent lose attack is always good. 
And as always, free Dark Lord, because, you know, what's better than a macro on legs for your opponent? And, you know, it is just fun to use. And making the only problem is with Mirror Match, it's just basically who goes into Dark Lord first is going to win the game. So that's why I kind of tech some other stuff in here to get around other things. So, like with Dark Hole, Compulse, and Breakthrough Skill. Again, with the Gauze, it just helps to get around a Dark Lord Mirror Match. So, I've geared this a bit more for the Mirror Match. Thinking about it, Gauzes are quite cheap. You can get them in Commons, so it is always good. Um, XYZs, I've got Maestro, because booking something is good to get around it. Photon Pack Collaborative, again, another cheap card. Like I say, you don't have to go for the Astral Pack. It's you know, it's cheap, it's rare. It turns it to, from defense to attack and attack to defense is always nice. Diamond Dyer, another cheap one, just getting rid of problem cards. Uh, Blade Armor Ninja, I got a friend who got me this. Uh, shout out to my friend Ashley. Uh, it is good to use in this deck. And then my last card is a Photon Strike Balancer. Just because you can overlay your Master Heroes for it if you do use a Soul Charge. So it is just useful to get around stuff. Um, that is my hero deck so far. I mean, tell me what you guys think. Uh, you know, we're compared to the the last time. I know people are saying, you know, different builds and stuff, but this is meant to be budget. It's not meant to go. Ooh, we're meant to, you know, go in and put in everything that everyone else wants. You've really got to think to yourself. This is what people are going to, you know, buy free structure decks. I mean, Rainbow Creepers. I swear, you could probably change it for a Battle Fader or something. Um, Rather a battle fader, or you could use a swift scarecrow to run it in its place, and that's another choice for Gaia. So, again, like I say, let me know what you guys think, think what you could say to improve. Remember, improve with budget, improve with budget. Don't suggest things like acid, because acid's going for dumb money right now. So, okay, guys, this is how I go against Overnight, and tell me what you guys think again. See you later.